So right now we're in the car and I felt inspired and I felt like I need to share this message. The message is about doubts. Whenever you're doubting yourself, when you start, you're going to be motivated. You keep on going and that is what creates consistency and discipline. The thing is, throughout the when you're on the road, you're going to feel doubts. It's inevitable to feel doubts. Why are you going to feel doubts? Because when you feel doubt, it's because you don't yet have the result. Understand that most of the time, you're just thinking about that result. That's when it goes wrong. It's not about appearing and acquiring. It's about being and becoming. What does that mean? Most of the time, you're focused on how to get there. How, how, how? So you're focused on the result and you're always trying to change systems to get there. Focus on one and then it becomes the who gets there. Who gets there? How do you get there? Is the who. The person that's disciplined. The person that's consistent. The person that keeps on going no matter how he feels. This is why I say actions over emotions every single time. Because you don't see the result just as yet. But this is the thing. Don't focus on the outcome. Focus on the input. The input is everything that you're putting in now, today. Because today is the only day you can put the input. So that's why I say to you. Don't focus on tomorrow. You don't even know if you're going to wake up tomorrow. Don't focus about, don't, don't worry about yesterday. If there's nothing you can change from the past, accept it and move on. That's the only way. Once you accept it and focus on today, because today's the only thing that can get you to the future, because the future, the future is going to come, but the habits that you put in today is what's going to dictate the future. So that's the only thing you need to focus on. Don't focus about yesterday. You're not going that way. Things that have happened in the past are not going to change. Unless you can change it, then do something about it. Then you have to accept it and focus on putting in the work today. If not, you'll be held prisoner and live in that time and while life goes on and that's just going to crush you more and more and more. That's the truth. So you need to come out of that. You have to come out of that. When you're doubting, it's because you think to yourself, am I going to get the goal? The question you should be asking yourself, am I going to miss? Am I going to not put in the work today? Am I not going to do what I have to do to get to where I want to get to? That's what you need to ask yourself. Because if you are doubting yourself, it's because you're questioning whether you're going to put in the work today. That's the truth. So ask yourself, am I going to put the work in today? If you are, all your problems go. Because it's not about just saying that you're going to, going to do it. It's about doing it. That's what marks the difference. When you actually do, when you actually put the work in towards that goal, then it will come. Many people focus on the tree that has many fruits. Focus on planting the seed and watering, watering it because within a few months, you start to see the sprout. Then you get frustrated. Why is this sprout? Why is it? I've been working so long and I've just got this sprout. Keep on watering it. Then you have a tree with the fruits that you wanted. Patience is power. This is the main reason why no one ever achieves anything. This is why people are so unhappy. They tell you, you can't do this. You can't do that. And they'll start inflicting their limiting beliefs onto you because they will tell you that you can't do it because they will shed their reason to why they couldn't do it. They weren't patient. If they weren't patient, they were following a program that showed them the things that weren't for them. That's the truth. Because if you have a plan, if you take action and you repeat, you will get there. You just need to keep on going. Keep and keep on going. The thing is, many people think, let me put the work. They work hard. I'm consistent. I work hard. But are you following the, pro the program? Have you educated yourself the way you need to educate yourself? This is the thing. You see that person that goes to the gym year on year out and looks the same he works hard he's disciplined he's consistent he might put the intensity but he is ignorant let me tell you why because he sees no results progress progress is the thing that humans desire this is why we always search for progress elsewhere but by cars houses clothes but we don't focus it on ourselves now think about it why don't i see progress with myself because he doesn't know about his macros this is the thing once you tweak up your macros once you focus on a good efficient plan once you have the macros that show you how to lose fat, build muscle, then your confidence comes. Everything will come. And that thing that you've done at the gym to achieve that person that you want to become, you translate that into anything else. That's how you get those results. So be patient. Just focus on putting in the work today. Close your eyes. Put the work in today. That's it. Tomorrow comes. You have problems. Is Adversity will come. There's two types of adversities. Self-inflicted adversity, which is the ones we choose by fasting going to the gym i'm actually on a two-day water fast at the moment for three days today's my second day all the adversity of life life will throw problems at you all the time this is why i tell you do what you have to do today no matter what actions over emotions because no matter what life throws at you life does not care if you if these problems come and you don't act you're not going to get any closer to that goal so keep on trying to go forward towards that goal with those problems and tackle each problem one by one. Don't let them accumulate. These problems will accumulate. 
So this is what I tell you. Focus on what you can do today to get closer to you and become tomorrow.